Hey, <laughs> professionals here, aren't we? Da -da -da. Evening, Dan. We're back at it, son. Back at it. Long time no, no brew. No brew. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to show how to make the simplest lager. pills in a lager. Everyone enjoys a good lager, summer yeah. night barbecue, but they can be quite complex to make. So we're going to try and do the simplest one we can find. Definitely. It's not smashed though. Two hops. What's going to be in it, Dan? We're going to have some pills and malts. One pills and malts. Yeah. So two packs of that with 5.1 kilograms. Two sets of hops. Uh, two <sighs> Eastern European hops, I believe. Tetnang. Tetnang. And... Saz. Saz. Yeah, so it's about 50 grams worth of each. And uh, so two simple lads making a simple lager. <laughs> Watch on. We mash in. Mashing in. Mash in. Are you stirring or? or... I'll stir. Got the basket in. Basket in. Don't forget this, guys. And we're going to go with 17 litres. Right water. Why do we go with something? Because it kind of works best for the, the kettle. A bit less, it gets a bit sodgy too much, then you don't get the, the efficiency. So, yeah. 5.1 kilos of Pilsner malt. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, that's nice, nice. Any doubles? Not at the moment, I'm just doing well. The, the paddle, I got that for my birthday. The size of his, his other little one. And the paddle is small as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might have distracted me when I was filling the water. Yeah, it feels quite a lot of water in yeah. there, so very loose. Any yeah. newbies to this channel, you yeah. don't want a loose mash. David Heath will tell you that. It's the intro that gets me. I enjoyed the, the music. <laughs> Very knowledgeable chap he is. I wonder if he has a beer while he's brewing. We should take some of this water out. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm just here to uh, make the numbers yeah, up. Yeah. Looks like Phil's made a mistake. I'm the guilty party, look. Yeah. We'll take some out. Very loosey goosey. Yeah. Is that a bit better? Yeah, a bit better. Okay, so. He's First done mistake, was, yeah. Uh, a simple, simple beer. Two simple fellas. They're making simple mistakes. Oh. Time for a beer, Phil. Oh, this is the last, the very last bottle of. Oh, okay. And we compare it against the commercial yeah. one. It's hours over the joke. Watch the video above. <laughs> we haven't done it, we didn't video it. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> Time for research. Yeah, we need a jug. Juggy. Oh, <laughs> that's better now. It's better the consistency, you Phil. We actually used porridge in the in the stout, Phil. We did. Yeah. We have a porridge oh, steam we're... going on yeah. today. Wait a minute. So, so what, what are we mashing for, Phil? Hour. An hour. Yeah. Why so is this? Um, why uh, is it important to mash? You won't well, make beer without mashing, Phil, because you won't get the, sh the sugars out of the grain. Yeah. Newbies, we need sugars in the grain. There's sugars in the grain. And what, what do you do with the sugars, Phil? We turn them into uh, carbon dioxide and ethanol. Yeah, the most important. Uh, I hope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. This is a shield. What time are yeah, we on? We're on. Uh, oh, it's on mash out time, Phil. Mashing out 75. Yeah. But first, Phil, we need to lift the grains. No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> Dan's not done this for a while. It's in here as well. Ten minute timer on, so when this Clarkson kettle reaches the 75 degrees that we want, the timer will kick in for ten minutes. Should I make it quicker to do it or slower? Should we turbo? Turbo? Turbo on. <laughs> so we're, uh, we're drinking our... Uh, Flavourly beer. Yeah. This one is with Kvek yeast. We did a Kvek yeast. Very nice. So see, the, see the video say that, that that way or that way, but it's normally that way, isn't it? It's nuts. Yeah. Those bananas. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like a rocket. It's like, like a, a rocket. rocket. There's someone doing firework. Look at those, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Ah. All well, good beer comes from Burton on Trent. Burton on Trent. I think yeah. so. Take a stout, please, Dan. Stout. Okay. Agree. So, That's the number three. Number three. Cool. We've got nothing that beats ours yeah. yet. If you guys want to send us your beer to see whether it beats our beers. If you want one of these beers and you live in the UK, uh, drop us a thing down in there and uh, we'll, we'll send you one. Well, if anyone wants one. Ooh. Yeah, well, 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 like a raffle. Raffle off <laughs> one of the three viewers of yeah, the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. Fellow brewers, uh, share the love, isn't it? I'm assuming all the sparge water things ready, we'd have to worry about any of that. Oh, crap. What are we doing, Dan? What are we doing? We're going to lift the grains. The raising of the grains. Yes. The raising of the grains. Are you lifting? You lift. I'm lifting. Oh, I can't find it. In the hole. I can't find it. Can't, can't find, find the hole. It. In the hole. I got him. What do we need if we got sparge waters to protect the grains? Colander. 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 Yeah, I want to touch that, but I realise it's going to be sticky and to warm my fingers. Sticky. St this is the part you always think they are brewing is quicker than it actually is, but it's always that slow time it takes for the beer to actually, or the water to actually drain through. 102. Yeah. Send that. Let's go. Let's have a beer. Here we are. Spargy, spargy. Do you want to put this on? No, no, no. I'll watch you. Ooh. Ready on sausage. Uh, <sighs> Swimming. It says max, and that's 25. Yeah. So what we think is we boil for an hour and we lose about two litres-ish. Yeah, so we'll end Down up to with, 23. It'll be 23 
for, that, for the yeast that we've got only does 20 litres. Yeah. So do we do we stick with that or do we do two packets because we've got two of them? Two packets, we want over pitch, not under pitch, because if you're under pitch you can strain the yeast. One and a half. <laughs> One and a half. Not keeping half a pack yeah, of the yeah. £1.65 yeast in my fridge. You posh nuts. How do you reckon this beer will taste, you know, compared to a Carlin or a Stella? So you did this, and you call it Lockdown Pills. I'll show you what I thought of it. This is Dan's Lockdown Pills. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, should, we see what the, should we see what the thing is? What the gravity? What the gravity is. Look, if you, if you guys haven't got one of these yet... You better get one. They are... Like essential in brewing. Essential for brewing. 1.054. What are we doing next, Phil? What's it boils? Measure the hops. Not too much because it's one packet, but what do we need? Scale? No. Shoe? Glove? Nearly, nearly. nearly. Uh, if I got this. Hops. Sole. Sock. Yes! We need a sock. We need a hop sack. I'm gonna, oh, it's in, the, it's in the attic. Oh. I can't open my attic hatch. Oh. Right, so we are gonna put in 50 grams of Tet Nang. From? Hopland. Hopland. <laughs> Where's it from? East, I don't know, I think it's Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. Yeah, was it Germany, Czech, something like oh, that way? Oh, smells absolutely gorgeous. Does it, does it smell Again, like... Dan, that's a big yeah, hole. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's boiling. Are we? Oh, 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 I'll finish this. Pale ale or a bitter? I'll have a bitter. Tablets. What tablet is it, Dad? It's a, I want to say, prophylactic. What's in? Put the end on. Oh, the end. Oh, bloody hell, don't point. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Shot the chair. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to hydrate the yeast. Right, before you do that, quickly add in two litres of water in here, warm water. I'm going to put one, two, three, four. Is that bigger jugs? Incognito bigger jugs. <laughs> I reckon it's time to add the, the hops. We're going to put 20 in. That means we've got five minutes left uh, once you put those in. So these are the, the tasting and flavouring hops, aren't they? Not the bittering hops. Sterilisation on the way. Oh, was that, was that you? Was that you? Was that you? Oh, oh Phil, Phil, Phil. Did, dirty man. Go up and down. You need to go up and down as well, Phil. You need to go up and down. Every surface needs to be strokes and throw the packets in as well. The scissors and the packets in. That'll yeah, probably do. Okay, right yeah. we So we'll leave that. Uh... That's for you, isn't it? Oh, are you keeping the fridge? I'm not sure whether we've got another one. Cool down. <laughs> Watch your glasses. <laughs> We're just trying to cool the liquid down, the work down as quickly as we can. Shake it back and put the, the freshness back. As they say. Oh! <laughs> Phil! <laughs> as if you'd planned that. Oh, bloody, bloody hell. <laughs> Don't put it in the beer, Dan. Don't put it in the beer! <laughs> <laughs> you need to switch off the liquid, Phil. I I've agitated too much. This is Dan's weapon of choice. Yeah. 50, is it? Yeah. 50, is it? Phil, I've shot all over my leg. Next time, Phil, when you suggest to do the log burner, I'm not going to say no. Might add to the danger of the night. Three, two, two one. one. Let's go! Yay! Phil will give a bit of a stir later on, a bit of agitation, but... Uh, for people out there, Phil, what sort of temperature are we looking to add this yeast to? Uh, 30 degrees, 25. Whoa! It hasn't fallen over tonight, it's threatened to, isn't it? What do you mean it hasn't fallen over there? Still more... Yeah, which is good. We oh, are between point. 30 and 40 points. That's quite a range. <laughs> <laughs> the simple problem, what I need to do is pull off the bung. We've got a bung and bung. We don't need bung and bung. If the Italian fella got arrested, so... <laughs> We're on the table. All good. Okay, brewers, we have lift off. If we can see. So, this is day two. Fermentation started yesterday. Mm -hmm. We're in the shed, probably about 12, 13 degrees. So, here they are two bottles of the Ginger Brewers beer. The lager. Here's what we thought of it. Even done. All right, what's happening, yeah. Phil? So, people are going to want this. Who knows? Let's find out. The carbonation. Not too excited too early on. Oh, no. Oh, I've got to pour yours now, Dan. <laughs> I'm going to sit on the roof and pour yours. <laughs> <laughs> 
So 45 degrees down, slowly down the glass. I got a continental two fingers. Apparently it's very good. So, smell. The look of it, the appearance so far is... It smells like uh, it's lager. Pretty, it's pretty good, look at that. You know. No off flavours though, I can't smell. No, it's lovely, yeah. Should we have a taste of it? Let's have a taste, Dan. Nice fizziness on it, you know. Carbonation is just right. Yeah, perfect. I think, uh, I think uh, someone might might enjoy getting a couple of those in the post. I'd enjoy having a couple of those in the post. If someone gave me a couple of these in the post, I'd enjoy them. You'd have to send them in the post. Oh, well, so you send them. Beard. <laughs> oh, look, the person who won lives in Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Phil. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, lads. Phil, get me, get me another one. Another seven, please. If you're living in the UK and you want to taste this, drop us a comment, start in Love Lager. We'll draw the raffle on the 1st of June. And then after you've tried it, maybe leave us a comment and say, tell us what it was like. Thanks for making it this far in the video. And see you in the next one.